Soluble fiber is a type of fiber that is not digested, it's not absorbed, so it goes through your small intestine, gets to the colon in its whole form, um, but it is able to mix with water, and so in your intestines it forms, um, it, it acts like a sponge, and it soaks up water, and it sort of increases in, in bulk and it'll slow the motility of the gut. It'll slow the movement of things. So if someone's having diarrhea, they don't want to consume insoluble fiber. They want to focus on soluble fiber because that will help to increase the size of their stool and it'll slow it down, make them more regular. Insoluble fiber, it's the same as soluble fiber in that it's not digested and it gets to the colon fairly whole but instead of slowing things down, it speeds things up. So it makes you have more frequent bowel movements. And that's what I usually encourage if someone's having constipation or difficulty having bowel movements. Now, most people want to get a good variety of both of those things, and that does help keep you regular. But again, in certain situations, you do want to try to get more of one and less of the other. So insoluble fiber is usually found in skins um, you know, that tough apple skin that we were talking about before, when you peel that off, you're taking off a lot of the insoluble fiber. Um, same with most of those tough skins that you see outside of broccoli, you know, stems, things like that, whole wheat, insoluble fiber. The difference between soluble and insoluble fiber is it can be pretty significant for people and it's something that most people know very little about. Um, the difficulty is that most of the time, soluble and insoluble fiber are found together. You know, on a, on a nutrition facts label, you'll see dietary fiber, X number of grams, and that represents both soluble and insoluble. Only certain foods really break it down and say, soluble fiber this many grams, insoluble this many grams. 